What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the brand new 2022 Nissan Armada courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. Yet another 2022 coming in on trade-in for a new Mercedes-Benz. So that's interesting. But anyways, I've actually never reviewed the Armada so I'm kind of interested in this one today and not only that this is Nissan's largest SUV so if you have a big family or if you have a growing family and you go on a lot of road trips made with Ocean City Maryland vehicles like this are really where it's at so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2022 armada first one being the s starting at forty nine thousand five hundred dollars sv for fifty three thousand five hundred sl for fifty seven thousand three hundred ten then you have the midnight edition which actually is the one we have today starting at fifty nine thousand three hundred lastly the platinum that one is going to start at sixty five thousand nine hundred dollars by the way that was all pricing for the rear wheel drive configuration you can add four wheel drive setup that is going to add approximately $3,000 then to any of those prices. But regardless of the trim level that you go with, the power plant on the Amada is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 5.6 liter naturally aspirated V8, putting out 400 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 413 pound-feet of torque, coming in at 4,000 RPM. Power center rear wheels are all wheels through a seven-speed automatic. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 5.8 seconds. MPG numbers coming in at 14 in the city, 19 on the high highway for the rear wheel drive 13 city 18 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel but said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our armada i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes and so there is a drive mode dial located just to the right of the shifter the drive modes will include essentially tow and snow modes so just some off-road modes more or less adjusting things like the shift points and the four-wheel drive system engagement as well so now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straight Right away let's put the armada here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed in three two one yeah v8 baby that's actually pretty quick who cares how big this thing is that thing is quick man definitely not going to have any issues in merging onto the highway zero to 60 in less than six seconds quite honestly is pretty darn good and for the size of this SUV, like I said, this thing is pretty darn quick. It's as to be expected with the V8, I guess you could say. But yeah, that's actually a decent acceleration for this thing. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs and actually exact same thing in the back. 13.8 inch ventilated rear discs as well. As far as braking feel goes, it's actually decent. It's a little bit on the soft side when you first hit it, but then when you press down a little bit further, instantly brings this thing to a stop. And regardless, again, of how large this thing is, pretty good stopping power on the Armada, I gotta say. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent double wishbone type rear suspension as well, front and rear stabilizer bars. Also, auto leveling rear suspension to go along with all of that. So. Overall, as far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine on my short test drive here today. So definitely absorbing Hagerstown's road imperfections. Not that Hagerstown has bad roads. They actually have really, really good roads, but still, ride quality has been perfectly fine. Very plush, very luxury-like ride quality here. As far as steering feel goes, it's definitely on the looser side of things, which is to be expected at a three-row SUV like the Armada. So it's not gonna win any competitions on the track, but like I said, it is to be expected. Having said that, wouldn't have minded if they firmed it up maybe just slightly or maybe added even a sport driving mode that firmed up that steering feel as well. But then touching on cabin noise, it is 100% on point. I will say I'm only going 20 miles per hour right now, but there is an acoustic laminated front windshield, but not only that, acoustic laminated front side glass as well that comes standard on every single trim level across the board. So that is definitely going to assist with the lack of wind noise that I am currently getting in this cabin. It is a very serene cabin overall. So certainly no issues there as well. Touching on visibility, there is actually the benefit of the visibility is I have the rear headrest down in the third row. So because of that, visibility really isn't all that bad when you consider the size of this thing. So honestly, I'm having no issues here in my short test drive here today, but 
that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Nissan Armada. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Nissan Armada. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. V-Motion front grille in typical Nissan fashion with chrome surrounds for all trim levels, essentially, but the Midnight Edition. Because we had the Midnight Edition, you guys are looking at gloss black surrounds on that front grille, of course, but definitely looks good, even on this white exterior that we have here today. So I like the gloss black, and that ties together with the uh, gloss black accents around the fog lights down below there and the gloss black accents on the lower portion of that front bumper as well. And you guys can see that adaptive cruise control sensor in the middle of that lower portion on the front bumper there too. But LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard for all trim levels across the board. They of course will come with that automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, the headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there. Not only that though, you also get automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. And then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna bump it back automatically up to high beams yet again. So little convenience feature there. And like I said, LED fog lights actually come standard on the SL trim level and up. So you do not get them on the S. So I wanted to emphasize that as well, but pretty good looking front end in typical Nissan fashion, of course. That about rounds out the front though. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the Armada. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of this one, you guys will notice up top there, you will find roof rails. They are going to vary in color depending upon which trim level that you go with of course ours being gloss black then take a look at the window surrounds they are going to be chrome across the board very nice there chrome door handles as well chrome accents on the front fenders you guys could see that that looks pretty darn good and you got the v8 badging of course as well on those front fenders with that massive v8 under the hood rear privacy glass is going to come standard across the board again and take a look at the wheel configuration down below you will get 18 inch 12 spoke aluminum alloys for the s and sv 20 inch 18 spoke aluminum alloys for the SL, 20 inch 12 spoke aluminum alloys for the Midnight Edition. That is of course what you guys are looking at right now. And then 22 inch 14 spoke aluminum alloys for the Platinum. But one more thing I wanted to mention to you guys, those side steps, they are incredibly useful. This thing does sit up a little bit higher and they are pretty darn wide as well. Some of the side steps I have slipped off of before, but these are actually very high quality. So I did appreciate that. But Again, that pretty much rounds out the side. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the Armada in the jungle, I feel like rear spoiler with an integrated brake light does come standard. Rear window wiper just below that. You will get LED taillights coming standard across the board. And you guys see that gloss black finish tying together the two taillights? That is only from the Midnight Edition. You're going to get chrome trim tying together those two taillights, essentially for all other trim levels across the board. And speaking of, LED taillights do come standard as well. You're gonna get some gloss black accenting towards the lower portion of that rear bumper, at least for the Midnight Edition. And tucked away, you will find a single exhaust outlet. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around to the back of the Armada, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate for the SL trim level and up. The way to operate that power tailgate, there is a button on the key fob, a button on the tailgate itself, of course, and a button by the driver's left knee then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity behind that third row comes in at 16.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, bumping it up to 49.9 cubic feet behind the second row. Then with all rows folded, that is going to come in at 92.6 cubic feet. Very impressive there. More, of course, than the Highlander, more than the Pilot, more than the Palisade, more than the Telluride. So definitely a good bit of space overall. So loving that. 60-40 splits all the way across, of course eight cargo tie down anchors you can find back there there is some cargo lighting and if you were to lift up underneath the floor of that cargo area you will find a little bit of in-floor storage not the deepest i've ever seen but still you do have a little bit of in-floor storage back there so that's always nice but then making our way to the third row legroom that third row legroom comes in at 28.4 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there and i will also note it was extremely easy to get in there all you needed to do is simply lift up on one little latch on the second row there and the seats fold completely forward so it's so easy for a third row passenger to get back there so it's definitely a huge fan of that 
Of course, you will find some cup holders back there for those third row passengers, and there is rear ventilation kind of located on the ceiling for all three rows then as well. But then making our way up to the second row legroom, that is going to come in at an even 41 inches. Again, for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. What's pretty cool to find, there is a 12 volt power outlet. There's also a 120 volt power outlet as well. So that was pretty cool. The only thing I was missing was the USB charging ports. I didn't see any of those, unfortunately, but heated second row seats actually will come standard on the Platinum. You're also going to get a rear entertainment system with that Platinum trim level as well with dual eight inch monitors. And of course, two wireless headphones come with that and a remote control as well. But a lot of cargo space in the second row. And I'll say that because you actually have this center kind of console thing in between the two captain's chair seats, giving you not only an armrest, but there's some storage on top. There, of course, is your your cup holders in the middle and then there's some hidden storage in the front of that console as well so like i said tons of cool little hidden storage areas there and then if the rear passengers actually press the button right in front of them there's some storage within the center armrest here as well for them and the drivers got even more storage under there too but overall plenty of storage back there i think that's definitely where the second row really shines there but then making our way to the front seats cloth seats coming with the s leatherette seating coming with the sv leather seating coming with the sl trim level and up heated front seats for the sv trim level and up power adjustable front seats with two-way power lumbar for all trim levels across the board memory settings for the sl trim level and up that's going to be for up to two different drivers found on the driver's side door here you will get ventilated front seats then for the platinum and overall seating was 100 percent perfectly comfortable definitely not going to have any issues with taking the armada on a long road trip for sure so perfectly on point there but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is power adjustable for every single trim level across the board that kind of surprised me there leather wrapped coming standard for all trim levels as well and if you wanted a heated steering wheel you can get that with the platinum trim level then but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your nissan logo located all the way to the top lock unlock that button to pop the power tailgate there and that circular button at the top that is going to be a remote start which comes on the sl trim level and up but essentially it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up tachometer is all the way on your left speedometer is on your right and there is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there giving you things like a digital speedometer when you need your next oil change there's tire pressure information for each individual tire safety features average miles per gallon of course there is a compass the list goes on pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges then the make our way to overall interior quality we do have a power moonroof up top here that is going to come on the sl trim level and up overhead sunglass holder up top there as well Home light controls found on the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors. Once again, SL trim level and up. Dual zone climate control is going to come standard for all trim levels across the board with tri-zone climate control being available, of course. Auto dimming rear view mirror for the SL trim level and up. You will get wood toned trim for the SL trim level and up. Unless you go with the midnight edition, then you're going to get this carbon fiber look trim, which is pretty darn cool as well. Midnight Edition floor mats coming with the Midnight Edition, go figure. Wireless phone charger coming with the SV trim level and up, and that's actually in this hidden compartment right underneath of the Armada lettering. That also has a 12 volt power outlet in there as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. Another little hidden compartment on the Armada there. Just to the right of the shifter, you have dual cup holders, of course. And like I mentioned to you guys a second ago, there is a good bit of storage within that center armrest there. So definitely not gonna be short on storage when it comes to the Armada. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen because it is massive. It is a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display that does come standard across the board bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard as well android auto apple carplay also coming standard factory navigation system coming standard as well and of course you can check out your radio information up there and so when it comes to the sound systems of the armada there are several of them for the s trim level you get four speakers for the sv trim level you get six speakers and then for the sl trim level and up you're going to get a 13 speaker bose sound system so therefore that is the one we have today so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> one thing you guys nissan and infinity they always get the base 100 right like 
If you are missing massaging seats on the Armada, that base is going to do it for you. Nissan and Infiniti, I think, have the most base coming standard of all other manufacturers out there, with the exception of like super high end sound systems like Bowers and Wilkins or something like that. So, incredible amount of bass clarity is perfectly fine as well that sound system really is incredible for the armada without a doubt but anyways last thing i want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the armada in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board but you also get a surround view monitor for the sl trim level and up giving you that bird's eye view letting you know what is completely all around you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start front side side curtain airbags of course do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard on all trim levels across the board will be a driver attention monitoring system adaptive cruise control lane departure warning lane keep assist forward collision warning automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and front and rear parking sensors that then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the armada incredible ride quality really this thing drives like a luxury vehicle it's super smooth incredible lack of cabin noise as well so it's super serene in here and that's partly due because acoustic laminated front windshield and the front side glass as well which you usually don't get coming standard in just about every other SUV out there. So that's definitely very nice. I like that the rear entertainment is available, although we don't have it today. And you know, honestly, you probably don't need it. Kids got tablets these days anyways, but still it's cool to have it. The only drawback or the only constructive criticism I can think of, I guess there's two things, but definitely not the best fuel economy. And that's to be expected with a naturally aspirated V8. On the plus side of that, I'm sure it's gonna be a heck of a lot more reliable than its turbocharged counterparts and some other manufacturers out there. So I like the V8 for reliability. I don't like it for the fuel economy. And taking a look at the gauges, the gauges are a little bit outdated as well. Wouldn't have minded seeing a full digital gauge cluster like Nissan is currently doing with the new Rogue as well. So overall, that's just about all I got. Let me know what you guys think of the new Armada in the comments section below and that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold